G'day. What we're going to do here is a quick tutorial showing you how to use ISO Buster to extract the MPEG file from a bin file because I know that's a problem for quite a few of you. This saves you burning it to fucking discs. I don't know why these people do this shit. Just leave it as an MPEG file, you fuckers. All right, I don't need that anymore. So, first thing we do... Oh, by the way, this is me. Yeah, gorgeous, aren't I? All right, back to the tutorial. <laughs> right, ISO Buster. Fantastic program. So we just bring up our ISO Buster. Go up here, File, open the image file, go looking for it. In my case, it's in CD2, because I've just done this in CD1. This is a quick tutorial for my son. Yours is different. All right, so there it is. There's the file. Just click it and open. Now, here's the trick. Go up here to Session 1, hold your cursor over that, right-click, up to here, Extract Session, go over to here, and this is the one, the third one down. Treat as video only. That's all you've got to do. Click that fucker, then save it to wherever you want to save it, my documents or whatever. This is where I save to. And go OK. And that's it starting to do it. Now, I'm just going to hit the pause button, and I'll get back to you real shortly. Oops, where's me? Where's the fucking pause button on this thing? Edit. Okay, Forest, here we go. 93, 94, all nearly there. Now it's automatically going to take you to the folder where it was saved. I'll make a liar of me, it doesn't. Okay, so go to the folder where you saved. And here it is here. It'll call itself Track 1. Now, this was CD2. There was Track 1 there, the omen. So what you do when you open the first one is you've got to rename it straight up. Okay? And so... In my case, I've already done the first CD, so this is the second CD, so it's paste here, and I change that to B. And that's it. Job done. Okay? Yeah, I left out a little what's-his-name. I'll fix that shortly. But you people, that's it. We're done. Enjoy.